What up, nerds? I'm not really sure what to call this video. Uh, maybe a mini build, but it's basically me wrenching on something that is not a neon. So anyway, um, I bought a Canon DSLR. It's an older T6 model. I got it from my homie Tempest. Um, she just wasn't using it anymore, and I was like, you know what? This might look cool. So I got it. I got some lenses. I'm going to try and use it to film myself, and then I realized that I can't focus on myself when I'm away, so I would need somebody with me. And most of the time I'm doing this stuff by myself because I don't like to bother people. So uh, I was looking into getting a shutter button thing set up and it was like 30 or 40 bucks. And I was like, I can probably build this cheaper. And you can. So to start with, you need a 2.5 millimeter plug. I bought one with a pigtail already on it. It's, uh, I think this was $8.99 and I got two of them. And then I took some three strand wire from a job that we were scrapping. So this is the pen out from this. There's the, I'll put up a link. I'm not Amazon affiliated, so I don't really care if you buy it or not. So the black is the ground. The white wire, when it goes to the ground, is focus. And the red wire, when it goes to the ground, is the capture. So all you need to do is wire that up to either some buttons or some switches and you're off to the races. So I built a button box for video gaming a while back. Um, you know, out of one of these, I used um, momentary switches that are double pull, double throw because that's what I ordered. Uh, so I'm just going to put the ground in the middle and then you know, one wire on each end for the connectivity. And I'll show how it works real quick with a multimeter. All right, so sorry my hands are still dirty. I worked on my neon all day and uh, I don't have any good hand cleaner at the house right now, but I'm using a double pull, double throw switch because it's what I have. But you can do this using anything as long as they're momentary buttons. I mean, you can use latching buttons, but you have to remember to turn them on and then turn them off. And if you want to use two separate buttons, you're gonna have to wire it like this where you um, loop the grounds between the two switches because it's looking for continuity. So you would just run the red wire to a positive of one switch or button, run the white wire to the positive of the other, and then run the black to the negative on both and uh, loop it between the two, you know, or run it to one and run it across. It, it doesn't really matter how you wire it as long as, you know, the black wire from this connector gets to both negatives because then it will be able to make the continuity loop. Anyway, I'll show you how this works real quick. So I have my meter on. I'm gonna try and... So if I push... Now I can do this side too. I do the same thing. Now if I jump over here, it doesn't do anything unless I press the switch up so that's how that works now realistically you don't even need to have switches you could just touch these wires together if you wanted to and it'll cause it to focus or take a picture but i want it to work so i took my one of my wife's little craft boxes i drilled a half inch hole for the switch to go into like that I drilled another side for this wire to slip into. And all I'm going to do is uh, put a zip tie on here so that the wire won't go back through. I'll run a zip tie on it. I'm going to leave the end long so it can't pull through. And there you go. So here's how I've attached for now on the other side. Since I'm using a, a three-stranded wire that has red, black, and then a ground, a bare ground wire, I ran the black wire to the ground, the red to red, and then the black wire of my cable to the white wire from the plug, which is separate from this one. Now, realistically, you can use any wire you have. If you have an old Cat5 cable, a phone cable, um, you know, two speaker wires, as long as you put the grounds together, it's going to work because it's just looking for continuity. This is not carrying any voltage. Fighting me a little bit. But once I get it clamped down, it's going to 
it's gonna work. That one there. Make this a little short, but it'll be all right. this but let's I gotta really spruce that up too but okay so I'm mounting it that through there they are I'm a little on off on <laughs> actually I'm gonna take this and flip it upside down all that stuff's on the bottom. I don't think it really matters. This, this is gonna work regardless. And you just pull the wire down. There's a little service loop in there. Slack relief, strain relief, whatever you want to call it. And you can just it all in there and it's closed up. I have a point of reference. Oh, all right. So if I push it red, red does what? Red is capture. White is or black, which goes to the white, is for focus. So when I have this in my hand, like this switch back it will focus on me so that's cool i think what i'm going to do is just probably zip tie this together and tape up these connections for now and then tape up the whole thing it's going to look terrible it's going to look awful until i uh solder these and get some heat shrink on them but i don't have any of that with me all right so the point of this is you zip tie these two wires together and there's not going to be any uh, strain on these actual connections down here. All the strain is going to be on the jacket of the wiring. You just got to get a good pull on it. And they won't come apart. Really kind of a proof of concept for me. But also, put it out there. Show that, you know, not everything has to be perfect to work. So, let's cut this down a little and then I can also take this and fold these back. Oh, yeah, this is terrible. I regret doing this, but, you know, whatever. I mostly just take pictures of myself. Well, not even take pictures. I take video of myself in my yard. So it doesn't matter if it's ugly. It's going to work. I like the pieces of junk I drive. Plus, there's like 40 feet of cable here. So I'll be able to start you know, focus on myself from far away. Now, the only problem with my camera is that I can't start a video using the shutter button. I can only take pictures. But anyway, let's get it hooked up and see if it can do the thing. So as you can see, it's out of focus. Pick up the box. I anticipated. I didn't realize I'd have to pose that long. All right, so for this to work, I actually have to start recording first and then walk out here and use the thing. I'll pull the button. Now 
and it's in focus. So this is all new to me. I've, I've never owned a real camera before. Uh, I've never done this before. So this is kind of interesting. And at least with something like this, you know, the material and the items are so cheap, I can just like literally toss it after I start filming so it's out of the shot. Although, I don't really care if it's in the shot either. So, cool. You know, an hour a day will keep the jack stands away, but, you know, 15 minutes on a Thursday evening will get you a shutter button built in a wooden box from the dollar store. So I just realized I never showed what the final product looked like. I'm probably going to paint the box because it got a little grimy from all the stuff that's on the table, but like you can carry it. It's not going to get messed up because with the zip tie inside the box, there's no tension on the switch, you know, and there's no tension on uh, the cable, right? Well, I mean, all the tensions on the zip tie on the on the jacket of the cable. So this is, you know, something you can just throw in your camera bag and carry around. 